The day starts off as usual. I sleep in because I didn't go to bed until about 6 o'clock this time. And I meant to sleep in until around like 1 or 2 o'clock. I was expecting that. But then I get a phone call that wakes me up at like 11 o'clock. Now my sleeping is all like reset. I gotta sleep in for more. It is currently 3.12. I have to be up and out of the house before 9 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> so I need this video to be quick. I gotta go to the bank. And I gotta find at least two other subjects to film today. And so with that, let the day begin. Alright, on to the next thing. Alright, phase two is research. So I know generally what I need as far as supplements go. Now let's see if I'm able to get them in locations nearby. Alright, scouting done. So. I mean, Ralph's has items, but I think they'll do fine. I was going to go to Trader Joe's because um, just to see what they had. And also because that was the store where I actually saw, like, whey protein. And I was like, oh yeah, those, those things exist to assist you with your workout. I think Ralph's looks fine. Oh, I gotta spin a poke stop. Alright.
that one. All right, Pokemon Go is done for the day. And I feel bad, because everywhere I go, there's a dog in the way that I'm gonna probably spook. Let's just slowly roll up this way. Let's see if we can't spook that dog. All right, so the rest of the day should really be nothing more than computer work. I have to get started on a website, something I haven't done in like a year. So I gotta dust those skills off. I gotta edit this video, and I gotta finish that research top three things on this list right now. Tomorrow I gotta find another subject to film and I gotta yell at my supervisor to make sure that my availability for the February 12th is good because otherwise I'm gonna get fired for going to a funeral. Oh well. So I bring up Dungeons and Dragons like every once in a while, and I think I finally come up with a method to actually share some of those stories on here and on Twitch. I'm excited for this because I've always kind of wanted to share these stories, and also um, storytelling has always been kind of a priority that I've tried to achieve multiple times in my life since graduating college. And I think this will really help kind of take those first few steps forward. So here it is. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to share all this thing going on right now. Um, because I'm feeling pretty proud of it after throwing it together. So, for the future, because I do have a plan to start kind of like sharing the D&D stories and things, um, this is how I kind of want to do it. So I've got one camera that's just going to be like the focus on the map, and so it's going to be like a zoom up so that there's no like distractions and everyone can kind of see like, oh, that's the close-up. So that's, um... That's that little camera right, right there. Um, oh, no, wait, right there. There it is. Uh, and that's the only that's the only webcam that I own currently that has a little uh, little tripod little tripod screw. So I can just have that on the tripod and then have that just kind of like dangling over the map or wherever I need to to put it. Uh, and I can move that around. Closer, move it further away, zoom in, zoom out, type of stuff. Um, my face. So, in case if there's like exposition or something, and I don't want, um, I don't want people to get like distracted by other people, like stuff. I may not actually use this this screen at all, because like exposition shouldn't be that long. And be able to chime in whenever they want, so I might have second thoughts about just the DM. Yeah. This is the most complex thing in the world, so these images here I just have as stand-ins for like the player cameras from the Google thing over there. So basically, it's just the the Google thing is just surrogates for like Discord or something. So I just do the same thing where I just have a display capture and then just like um, just 
cut and crop the image until just that person's perspective camera is in play. And then I can have, you know, these players here, I can have room for stats, I can have, like, if I have this on Twitch or something, or YouTube, I can have, like, a little chat window going on in here or something like that. I really don't know how far I want to take this thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited about this layout right now, and that I'm able to do it with, um, just OBS Studio and two webcams. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, if I really wanted to get super extra about it, this would require at least like two more cameras though. Um, I've got future layout number two. So I've got, um, I've got camera one up here that just has um, the widescreen like, so this would be for when I've got my players in-house and we want to play and share our story online. So we would have the map in the center. I would have like row one up here in the event that we have like six people or maybe even just four people. And so I would have two people. I would have two players up here or three players or four players if we have eight. And then the other half of the players down here in the event that I can't fit all the players on just one, um, one row. And then the, the little DM focus over here. And that's how it would be. So then everyone can see what the players are looking at in here. They can see player reactions and interactions. They can see if the DM is going to totally screw over the players. And yeah, so that would be in the event that I decide, sure, I'm going to drop another... 60 and or a hundred dollars on two more cameras which I kind of want to do but um yeah so I just wanted to share that real quick because it just it looks it looks really pretty the prototype looks really pretty and I'm proud of that so yeah maybe uh maybe one day that's a that's a thing that I'll start an, whole, an entirely new playlist for. Super excited because with that I've got one setup for in the event that we can't meet in person and we can only do Discord or Skype or something so then that's the one with the map and the bottom. And in the other sense, when we are all in-house I still have a method for that. The reason why I'm choosing to use the web camera though, and thinking about buying another one for the maps and things like that, is because I've been I've been going crazy over the past, like, over just January in general. Over Roll20, which should I invest my money in? Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds? And honestly, I cannot decide and I refuse to drop money on both of them just out of redundancy sake so I'm choosing to just kind of push all of that aside until I have someone else come up to me take me by the collar and just shake me and go listen here's how here's how you're gonna invest in your money for digital things and I've got it all laid out for you. I'm gonna print out my maps. I'm gonna use a webcam to show people what's going on in the map. And that's how I'm gonna do it. Because I'm I'm done thinking about it. I I can't do any more math. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it manually. Not to discourage the use of Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds. Both are amazing. I just because I can't choose one or the other, I'm I'm doing the more complex I'm doing the more complicated thing and just going with option C. Last note: tomorrow is the Super Bowl, and I do have to work. So from nine till four, I'm out. But 
right as I clock out, on the train, down to Long Beach, and then I gotta try to find a car, and then head all the way down into Westminster? Yes, Westminster. Let's see what kind of adventure that'll be.